What's up, Helix users? This is Steve Strelacci, and today's a really cool video for me to do. Something that I've like heard about, but have never actually tried because I figured there was some sort of wizardry to it, and it would be way too over my head to figure it out. But um, Eric Klein, the literally the man of Helix, just did a cool video with Sweetwater Gear Fest talking about you know a couple of things that you may not have known that your Helix can do. I will link that in the description for you guys to go check out. Highly recommend it. Eric's a genius and is responsible for most of, you know, the, I guess, the Helix child, if you want to call it that. So he was talking about this YouTube controller. And I heard this for the first time, I think, two NAMs ago when 2.8 first came out, talking about how you can control YouTube from your Helix. And at first I was like, that's the greatest idea I've ever heard. But I had no idea how to go about figuring it out. And Eric just shedded some light on this in a recent video, and I've asked him a couple of questions online. He was kind enough to answer and gave me the okay to put this up on a video for you guys. So I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's literally the easiest thing ever. It's already done, you know, Line 6 has already done the work. Eric puts it like, basically the computer thinks that the Helix becomes a regular QWERTY keyboard, and it has commands on it that tell YouTube what to do. So I'm going to take you to HX Edit and show you where you could find this and how to get it. So here we are in HX Edit. We are in, you know, regular preset. You know, this is my Placator Power preset. So you have this folder list here of all of your different set lists. And if you go to templates, it's supposed to be number nine, letter A. It's supposed to be down here. If you don't see that and you're seeing what I'm seeing here, that probably means that you've always restored your backups when you do your updates, which you should obviously, but I'm gonna show you how to reset your factory defaults without affecting these. So first thing we're gonna do is we are going to create a backup. You know, whatever you gotta name it, I'm gonna put this in my line six tones, helix backups. Great, create backup. So this is gonna back up your global your global EQ, your global settings, your impulse responses, your presets, everything's gonna be backed up into a file. You should be doing this anyway if you've updated your unit before, in case you didn't know that. Anyway, this is uh, updating, and uh, we'll check back once the update's done. Okay, backup completed successfully, Eureka. Great, so the next thing, you're gonna actually take your physical Helix and do something with it, hold on. Okay, I'm gonna go 90s hip hop boombox status. All right, so you're gonna first turn her off. And then you have foot switches nine and 10, which are these, right? One through six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Nine and 10, you're gonna push these down at the same time and power up. Keep holding it down. And you see it says there, if you can make that out, will reset globals and restore stock presets, set lists, and IRs. Okay, so we're gonna let that go. Let it boot back up. How's that, that looks better, you can see that now. By the way, I'm doing this live right now, I hope that this works. <laughs> I haven't, I didn't have any pre-testing for this. Okay, so we're back to normal. I'm gonna drop this. Did you notice I cleaned it for you guys, special for this video? Okay, heading back over to HX Edit now. Let's see in our templates. Aha, there it is. YouTube remote. So it is there. But before we even do this, we need to restore our backup. So we're going to go to file. Restore from backup. It should be right there. If you saved it there, your last known backup should be right there. So what do I want this? I want to click that arrow, right? See what that arrow does? This is all of your factory folders. So I wanna uncheck templates because if you update, if you create a backup with the templates not there, when you import that backup, the templates will also not be there. So having the factory reset is what downloaded those templates in. So you don't wanna restore your templates. And if you want the new factory reset, you know, you can do those too. Doesn't really matter to me. I don't really use them anyway. So uncheck one, two, and templates, and then we hit restore from backup. Are you sure you want to overwrite? Yes. So now it's gonna put a backup of the presets that I just had 
re-upload them, give me my global settings back, give me my IRs back, and I should have the YouTube remote there. Let's see if it works. Your screen should look like this. Transferring data, please wait. Come on, baby. Ninety-eight, ninety-nine, hundred. Oh, now it's got to do the presets. Thought it was done. Not done. False alarm. This is awkward. We done yet? Nope. Ah. Restore completed successfully. Okay. Okay. So now your YouTube remote is blank. What the heck does that mean? Hit your mode button on your Helix floor. Let's check it out. Boom, there's all your commands. Ugh, for those keeping score, we have leave a comment, toggle full screen, mute, slower, faster, play pause, restart, plus 10, minus 10 seconds, and that one's nothing. Pretty darn sweet. I think that, huh. So now it's important to have YouTube open so that this doesn't start doing random things to your computer. So let's say you are trying to learn the guitar solo to Jessica Lynn's song, Run To. That's me. <laughs> so I want to pause that. I want to go back 10 seconds. Minus 10 seconds. Now I want to slow it down. Faster. Back 10 seconds. Look at this, you got toggle full screen. Oh, I want to see how my fingers look. Back 10 seconds. This is the coolest thing I've ever done with the Helix. What if I hit restart? Restart, play. <laughs> it takes you back to the front of the video. Toggle full screen, go to full screen. Okay, let's go back to faster. Two times speed. One times speed. That is awesome. Okay, that's enough of that. So there might be a problem for you still. This preset is totally blank. What the heck do you do? Um, unfortunately, you can't just drag and drop a preset into this, but you can save this next to an existing preset and then copy it over. So let's do that. I'm going to save preset as. I'm gonna to go to my 2020 sounds and I'm going to save this into a new preset here. So now my YouTube remote is here. Let's say I want to import a preset here. Okay, so I just grabbed a simple preset. This is my Placator Power for the HX Stump that's just in my Helix. And let's say I want to, because by the way, for that song, for a run to, that's all Placator Power, my preset that's available on the Line 6 Marketplace if you want to check that out. I have one for the full Helix and one for the HX Stump. For simplicity's sake, we're going to take this HX Stump version I'm just gonna to go to the first block, copy, go to my YouTube remote, paste, rename this YouTube Placator Power. Okay, it's gonna be Power since it doesn't fit. Okay, we're gonna save that. Make sure you save this. And I'm going to head back to Placator Power for the stomp. 
copy. And you should be good to go. So the other way to do this is to copy the commands into a preset using your command center. Um, you want your pedal board mode to be less or more, whatever you want. I mean, you just need whatever you need out of this. So you have leave a comment, toggle full screen, mute, slower, faster, plus 10, minus 10, restart, play, pause. Say you only want plus or minus 10 seconds, play, pause, slower and faster. You don't need to have all of that in, um, in your preset. So this is my YouTube template here. I'm gonna go to Window, Command Center, and you're just gonna copy your commands. So let's say we want, this is what, start, stop, right? This is play, pause. We're gonna copy this here, hit done. We're going to go to any other preset that we want. So let's say we're gonna go to this Lone Rider preset, Window, Command Center, and I'm going to right click, paste. Now I have play, pause. Did play, pause my video. Let's see if this works. So I just copy and pasted it using the command center and it appears to have worked. The only thing is that it says hotkey. So just go to your command center, same place we just were, window, command center, click on your pedal that you're modifying here. And you're just gonna customize this to say play, pause. Hit enter, change the color, hit done. And now you'll see on your floorboard, play, pause is now green and you can use that to control your YouTube videos. And just repeat that same process for whatever commands you actually want to import into your preset. Glad you guys stayed with me this long. If you have, really appreciate it. Uh, hope you guys use this. Go practice some solos, learn some cool things. Check out my Playcator Power preset, Jessica Lynn's Run2 music video. Check it all out. And uh, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.